Hi, we're here with Cade today. Cade, do you give us permission to use your video on the internet? Yes. Okay, now Cade, we saw you one hour after surgery and one day after surgery, and now it's been one week after surgery. Okay. How are you feeling? I feel fine. Uh, the surgery was as advertised. I've had no pain. I've taken no pain medicine after I left the hospital. Um, you know, I, I, I guess a little tired the first day, but other than that, I've been fine. Uh, walking, uh, been able to get up and get around, and uh, I'm pleased with the outcome. You said you're out seeing the sights in Vegas because you used to live here, huh? It's changed mm -hmm. a lot. Yeah. So I imagine that would be you next year. Yeah. You'd be changed a lot. It has changed a lot through the 20 <laughs> years since I was here, but I've been here many times since then. But uh, just uh, this part of town's uh, a lot different, yes. It is. So, how, did you weigh yourself today? Uh, I did. I uh, lost 13 pounds. And, wow, that's uh, one amazing. Week. So, uh, yeah, and I hadn't really weighed, I didn't really have a scale. Uh, and I could tell my clothes were getting looser, but uh, I would say the only thing is, it's just you have to learn how to hydrate yourself. It's a little different after surgery mm -hmm. uh, than that's it was true. before. You're not going to be able to gulp. I mean, I used to drink bottled water. I could, you know, chug one, and uh, you can't do that anymore. But uh, certainly, once you, you get the, the hang of it, you know, I have not been hungry. I probably a couple of times felt like I, I was hungry enough I'd like to eat, so you don't really have that driving need to stuff your face all the time. So now it's going to be a little, a little bit different when you get home. You might get that head hunger where you walk in the kitchen and you stare a lot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but you're not sure what you're doing there? <laughs> yeah, I, you know, I just, uh, I've been out to a restaurant a couple of times and sat and watched my wife eat while I had some soup and it didn't bother me. So uh, I, I, think I'll be, uh, I think I'll be okay with it. Wonderful, wonderful. And so how's your wife feel about this? You know, my wife was, uh, is very conservative, uh, not a huge fan of anybody having uh, any kind of gastric surgery. Uh, she knew I'd done research for three or four years, but, uh, you know, like she said this morning, uh, you know, I'm off all diabetic medicines and my numbers are the same as they were a week ago when I was taking four. That's amazing. My blood pressure uh, is, uh, I'm off all but one of the medicines this week. and. It's pretty much in the same range of where it's been, maybe a little high, but like Dr. Rutland says, we'd rather get a little high than a little low. Uh, you know, uh, taking 17 prescriptions, and this morning I took one. That's amazing. So. And so how was it moving around? Did you feel a little bit lighter, a little bit easier getting around? You know, around? Uh, I think the one thing that I would say is, is that every morning I get up stiff. I drop something on the floor. It's pretty hard to get over there and pick it up. I, don't, I didn't feel as stiff this week. I don't know why that is, but I just 13 didn't. pounds of fluid, that's why. Uh, you, that, you lost 13 pounds of fluid. That yeah. wasn't fat. That wasn't yeah. muscle in one week. That's fluid. Yeah. So, and, and if you get, did you feel a little tired? Because that's a lot of fluids. First, first two days I did, and I was a little concerned mm -hmm. about that. But I really, I was having trouble getting down the hydration. I mean, they say sip, sip, sip. And salt. It, and salt. And that's, you know, I kept the salt packets with me everywhere, ate saltine crackers. Uh, and uh, a couple of times I had Ritz crackers, which really th tasted great to me, and they felt They're good so in my system. They're so decadent, aren't they, after surgery? <laughs> yeah. So, anyway, uh, I have no complaints about anything. No, I don't, I don't remember if I asked you this or not, but um, how did you find Dr. Rutledge? Yeah, I'm probably a more interesting story. Uh, I have uh, been in healthcare for many years on uh, the health insurance side of things, so I'm uh, an expert in, uh, in the, my expertise is in, in the health insurance, uh, managed care, that sort of thing. And I was actually speaking at a conference in Miami, and I got up and was getting ready to go speak at this conference, and there was uh, one of the morning news programs uh, said something about uh, a mini gastric bypass, a new way for weight loss. This was like four years ago. And I wrote that stop and wrote down CLOS.net and I started looking at it and then I watched the videos and then we came last year for the clinic one day uh, and I looked at Ruin Wide, Lap Band and, uh, you know, Sleeve and about everything that you could look at and tried to determine what was best for me and I thought, uh, you know, I was getting ready to retire and taking care of everybody else who wanted to do this and uh, I felt like that uh, this was the right procedure for me to have done and uh, elected to do that and uh, today I can tell you I'm happy with it. Wonderful. So okay, let me ask you real quick, did you hear a lot about the mini gastric bypass before you um, started not. researching? No, never. Never heard anything about it. Was shocked to find it. Uh, you know, I, I think the, uh, the Gil Gerard video uh, really was an effective thing for me to look at. And then I was worried because, you know, I'm, uh, I'll be 59 soon. I was afraid that maybe I was too old for it. And then I started watching people who were older than me that had it had great results in the year and I just wanted to feel better and get rid of this weight I'd been carrying around all these years. Well, you're going to do it now. Yep. 13 pounds in one week. Yep. You're going to be just Slim Jim next year. Yep.
So I'm looking forward to it. Good. You know, I think my big goal would be to be able to get on a plane, go somewhere, and if I had to buy a pair of jeans and a shirt to, to get through a day, I'd be great and not have to go find some big guy store to do it. Uh, that would be a huge deal for me. Well, you're a tall guy, yeah. but it most certainly you'll be able to do that in, mm -hmm. the, in a year. I mean, it, it's amazing yeah. what's gonna, how you're going to transform in a year. Mm -hmm. You know, I think another thing is is that it's hard to find. Even the people that had complications and problems, all of them have said they'd do it again. That was my number one question. Would you do it again? And everybody has said yes, of course. i do it again and again. i do it every couple of years if I had to because mm -hmm. it was that easy to yeah. recover. How was your recovery? You know, uh, I was a little apprehensive, I guess. I haven't. Uh, it was only the second time I've ever been under in my life. Never had surgery except on an elbow. And... Uh, so uh, they got me uh, easy with it, and uh, I kept telling myself, look, nobody dies from this, and everybody benefits from it, so just suck it up and do it. And uh, when they put the, uh, you know, I breathed in the oxygen mask, the next thing I know, I woke up in recovery, and no pain, I still had no pain. I still can't believe I had no pain. Uh, but, I mean, taking nothing. It's a nothing, dream. Mm -hmm. It's a dream. Yeah, I mean, it, it, and that's what I said this morning. It's as advertised. You know, you hear people say this, and you think, yeah, it can't be that great. Uh, I, I'm pretty skeptical, but I can tell you, I've been through the whole process, and uh, probably the, the, the most pain I had the whole time was when they started the IV. So. Well, you look wonderful, and I look forward to getting that video next time I see you. Okay, good. Thank, Thank you, you, Kate.